What's going on guys? I had people asking for a schematic, so here is the exact schematic. It's always listed for free on our YouTube channel's community post section. Um, it's basically the schematic for the new breakthrough transmitter that has true zero current input and has a weak output due to dielectric field tension and triggering or avalanche breakdown you could say so this exact schematic is on the post section um, it runs off of just a voltage potential only to operate it is it consumes absolutely true zero current um, people can argue about that or debate me about that all day long and you can build it yourself replicate it you will be blown away you can't detect its frequency on an oscilloscope um, because it's a, it's in a scalar mode. So, we're using just a 36 volt DC bias to phantom trigger the device into operation. I wound an extra L4 coil over it to experiment with. Doesn't really seem to be useful at the moment. Um, the output is coming from the, the, uh, L, the L3 Litz wire coil, 24 gauge. So, ferret rod just helps to tune it. We're using all SIC diodes on the device for 100% efficiency. It's basically an avalanche tunneling dielectric um, triggered transmitter that has true zero input. So The meter is on the utmost sensitive current detection setting. It's not even detecting any current being drawn because we're drawing none. We eliminated the 70 million ohm biasing resistor for a reverse biased C3D Cree SIC diode. So, the device is basically acting like an aether gate or aether pump or RAM. And I can keep now duplicating these mo models, scaling up the outputs of the L3 and have virtually all the power we want in theory. Um, yeah, that's it's how it looks. People wanted an explanation. The device works off of just dielectric field tension only. It consumes true zero current. Feel free to replicate it. The exact schematic is on my YouTube channel's community post section. It's always there for free. Um, I'll try and give you a good look at the whole system. It's almost like we conjure power at the L3 coil, the L3 Litz coil. The inner two coils are 24 gauge magnet wire wound in a bucking configuration. Um, the transistor is basically operating in ghost mode or tunnel mode. You could call it a phantom tunneling mode or punch through mode. And we have true output with zero input. And notice if I get close to it, it shuts off. It's highly sensitive to tuning. The system is actually acting like a broadband scalar receiver to output power. Um, it can operate off of the utmost sensitive voltage potential bias to trigger it. Um, I wonder if I can show that and get it to run. See how long it'll run off this capacitor. It'll be very long. So, do some quick tests, show you, and we'll see what we can do. Do all this in real time on the video. Everything on these batteries loves to come disconnected. So I'm charging up a capacitor. I'm going to run the system off of just a capacitor now. So we're running the system off just a capacitor, not the batteries. As you can see, we're running off just a capacitor, and it's still doing the same thing. Get it tuned up better and it will work. So, it operates off of just dielectric field tension, and we're running it off a capacitor now to provide the 36 volt trigger um, for the transmitter. 
So it operates off pure field tension. We'll give you a look at the device. You can basically scale the voltage potential bias down to micro battery cells to give you 36, 46, even 80 volts DC to provide you just a voltage bias to trigger the avalanche breakdown of the system. It's basically like the L3 outer lutz coil is capable of conjuring power just from voltage potential only, which undoubtedly proves Aether theory. So we can completely conjure power at the L3 from this type of transmitter design that runs just off of a voltage potential. It consumes truly zero current due to our reverse bias components being sick diodes. The DIAC um, didn't use the L4 coil yet. I'm having trouble getting it to work. But it's basically a three coil transmitter with the first two coils being 24 gauge solid magnet wire wound in a bucking configuration. The outer coil is um, 24 gauge Lutz wire and that's what's running the LED. The L3 coil is basically what conjures you your power to run this LED light and you can tune the inductance of the system with a ferrite rod. It's almost like we conjure the power properly with the ferrite. So it's pulsing strongly off of a little capacitor. And the other thing that's crazy too that's mind-bending with this system is it'll still run in pulse with a, through a series capacitor. Like look at this. This is a this is just another capacitor in series with the driving capacitor that replaced our 36 volt DC 9 volt battery bank. Look at that. It is an etheric energy pump. It runs off of field tension only and can conjure power in the L3. So this device proves that all you need to conjure power is the correct geometry. So we uh, the schematics online on the post section look how remarkable that is just running off of a series DC capacitor with the main capacitor so if that's not incredible I don't know what is